The Google Nexus 5 is once again teased for October 31st. The LG G Flex specifications leak and things seem quite good for those interested. And Samsung's record quarter results tell us a lot about their high-end phones not paying the bills. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if this video goes up after midnight, please don't complain, just join me with a beer. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some very interesting official news. You know, we got Samsung's quarter results today, and apparently the company has just made $9.6 billion in profit, which is great. And you thought that those 40 million Galaxy S4 units that they sold were solely responsible for these results. But as it turns out, they weren't. Actually, the drivers for this amount of money were the memory chips that they sold to competitors, and also the amount of cheap phones that they sold, and I'm talking about those cheap Galaxy phones. So for those of you wondering why the Galaxy lineup is available on the Galaxy Ace and the Duos and all this, just learn that those phones pay the bills a lot more than the high-end phones. And now let's talk some more about Samsung and specifically the Galaxy Gear. Those of you that want this Galaxy Gear should probably be aware as Best Buy's leaked documents kind of state that there is an astonishing return rate of almost 30%. So much so that Best Buy is actually running a poll to customers asking them why they're returning it. And obviously, what could the Galaxy Gear do that it doesn't currently do? And for me particularly, it has a lot to do with compatibility, but still, it is a good watch that could be a lot better. Now let's talk about the LG G Flex for those of you that were worried about this being another prototype for Korea. It turns out that there are some code names for this phone coming to the United States. So that will be the case. And we also have some leaked specifications of this phone. It is pretty much a G2 only and a bigger chassis and a curved display as well. But for those of you that were worried about a 720p display on this device, the leaks also confirm, if you call that confirm, that there is a 1080p display coming to this phone. So stay tuned for it hopefully next month. Now these are some interesting news as there is a company called Opto Fidelity that just ran some tests on the iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C and considered it to have the worst display when it comes to sensitivity. Which is really interesting because it was compared to a Galaxy S3 and apparently the Galaxy S3 had twice the amount of sensitivity in the display when compared to these iPhones. And as it turns out, yes, I did feel some changes between the 4S and the 5 when the 5 launched, but I guess I've gotten used to it. But leave us a comment down below, do you feel that there is some sensitivity issue in your iPhone. There is, in my opinion, just not as bad as they portray it here. And finally, for the hot news of the day, yes, we get some more details, or we could call these leaks, that the LG Nexus 5 or Google Nexus 5 will be launching on October 31st. But this is interesting since Friday is pretty much over, the weekend has started, and there are no press invitations being seated to anybody. So this could be the case that this will be a silent launch, but these leaks also talk about an LTE Nexus 4 coming in the pack. So apparently this phone is staying, but that leads me to the question of the day. Uh, would you buy the Nexus 4 if the Nexus 5 is also in the market with those great specifications? Because in my particular case, they could give me that Nexus 4 for free. The Nexus 5 has such great specifications that I wouldn't even look at it, but leave us a comment down below. Where do you stand? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.